Hi guys, let's see this study finds 268% higher failure rates for agile software projects. Let's discuss a little bit why this might be happening. Well, in the article coming from the register.com, basically they are trying to say that if you don't know beforehand or if the requirements are not written correctly, this may lead to failure of the project or delay of its deliverables. And also as an outcome of the research, they state that in order to deliver high quality software, you need to ensure that the developers have psychological safety to discuss and solve problems when they emerge at the same time, taking steps to prevent burnout. This is very important. I've seen it in practice. A lot of times it happened to me too many times. And that's why I'm emphasizing on this. A lot of engineers are being promoted as managers. A lot of coders are promoted as managers without any qualifications, without taking even basic course on management, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This puts them into a very dangerous position of having a lot of control while not knowing how to manage people. And uh, on the other side, this can lead to a lot of problems to the team especially for developers that really want the project to succeed and giving up all their personal balance for the project. And I might tell you that trying to patch the problem in place doesn't work because I've seen managers that are going to such courses, trying to understand the paradigms, trying to lead from books, etc., etc., and uh, without having a correction layer on top of them that cares about the bottom layer, it leads to really burnout and resentment of level one developers. In startups or whenever the company is working as an outsourcing center, project failures can happen very often. And it's not that much of a whether you choose waterfall or agile or any other methodology to build your team and communicate on with, but more on the application of those practices. When a certain company is outsourcing a product, usually they would like to optimize the hours they are paying. That's why they are trying to force more output to be created. But as you know, programming is not like any other type of work. So the developers require this psychological safety to be able to reflect on the code, to read articles, to do some research. And when they are being forced by deadlines, this is not happening, no matter if those deadlines are being prolonged. The problem this time is not within the developers, but in the management staff that are trying to squeeze as much as possible from the workforce. Well, the article states quite correctly that the problems are coming more from its implementation. So the implementation of the Agile approach rather than the principles themselves. I've seen this. I've seen also a mix where the company was basically doing waterfall type of management with all the traditional hierarchy of roles and levels of different programmers being put together, but just replaced with they are agile acronyms and this was again leading to problems because it was basically covering up the old model with new names another feature that is very prevalent in the outsourcing centers is that you have a team of people that are coding and basically you have one supervisor that is trying to manage those people without any other let's say team lead or any other role this supervisor is trying to encompass all the roles again we don't have corrective or we don't have someone to watch over what's going on inside of the team from above. So the manager is turning into a single point of reference and that's a dangerous thing and to be avoided, of course, because there are a lot of situations where the developers have a feedback on the way the product is being developed. And this feedback can be ignored because the management is chasing deadlines or having other priorities.